Hey, you guys, welcome to the Cosmic Royal Family. It is me, Mystic Beauty, and I'm here to do another general energy reading. You guys, listen, I this is my second time um, trying to record this video, hence the reason why all these cards are out here, okay? But I'm going to run back through this, this message again. Um, I was like halfway done with the reading and my I realized my camera had cut off seven seconds in the video, okay? <laughs> but that's okay. We're going to do this again because maybe it was something that I missed and Spirit want me to make sure that I get that part out to you guys as well, okay? Okay, so... You guys, I'm going to start, um, I'm going to start from, from the beginning, what I saw, okay? So, all right. Okay, so you guys, this reading, this energy is talking about a King of Cups energy and an Empress energy, okay? And uh, I saw that. You know, this King of Cups energy is turning their eye, turning a blind eye towards um, something that they know they know that they need to make right. There is something that this King of Cups energy did to this Empress that they need to correct this. They need to make this right. OK, this person has been in in solitude for a very long time. Um, Spirit has been trying to reach this person. They've been trying to connect with this person. But this person is, is, is like in secrecy right now. There's so much secrecy around this person and they're, they're choosing not to um, acknowledge what they did, the decision that they made. And I know this has something to do with the decision because judgment came out sideways. So this is talking about a big decision that this person made that ultimately destroyed this connection, ultimately tore this connection apart it severed the ties in the energy between um this empress and this king of cups energy right now you guys this whatever decision this person made was definitely something financial it was something dealing with stability okay this wasn't i'm i feel like this person wished that they could bag out of this they wish that they could like changed your mind but it's too late i i heard sworn to secrecy what i don't know what sworn to secrecy is about okay so this person wished that they could go back that they could have chosen you right they this person made a clear-cut decision they felt like the clear decision was for them to um leave this empress energy behind and go towards this Ten of Pentacles, Devil in Reverse type of energy, you know? So, the King of Pentacles is here in reverse. This lets me know that this person was having financial problems. Um, and I feel like their the, their lack of stability in their life persuaded them or was the ultimate ultimate um, reason why this, this King of Cups abandoned this Empress energy. Why this person abandoned this Empress, right? So... Let me see what else came out. All right. So the Queen of Wands in reverse came out. And, and it's crazy because I said that I feel like there was some type of sorcery, right? I said so, this to me sound like, feel like some type of manipulation. And I feel like this person is regretful of allowing themselves to be manipulated. So... The Seven of Swords was here as well. And this talks about sneaky, someone tricking someone. Your person was tricked. This King of Cups was tricked um, out of their seat. They were tricked out of their spot. This person tricked this Empress energy as well. Like, I feel like if this is you and you're the Empress, this person kind of built you up to let you down type of vibe, right? They knew the whole time that they were dealing with this Queen of Wands, Devil, Energy in Reverse, okay? They knew the whole time who they wanted to go towards. They had already made a decision. But it's like they were possibly absorbing this Empress energy, taking what they could take from her. 
ultimately this this whole game that this person played and I and I use turning tides tarot to clarify this person played a lot of mind games with this empress energy because they thought that the better choice was this queen of wands in reverse energy whoever this queen of wands in reverse is offered a lot of passion a lot of thrill um and they also gave the illusion of stability to this person. It was just an illusion. So just like your person played mind games with you so that they can entertain this Queen of Wands in reverse energy, um, this Queen of Wands in reverse played mind games with this person um, to pretty much get them to cu cut you off completely. They wanted, they wanted this masculine energy to cut this Empress energy off completely. Okay? This Queen of Wands in reverse energy definitely lacks stability themselves. So this was just one big clown show, one big circus act. Nobody had any coinage. Nobody had any stability. At this point, they are depending on each other. This masculine energy is definitely heartbroken because they turned their back on their star. They thought that they were going to have a... I heard... I heard um, live and laugh of luxury, okay? They thought that they were going to live a very luxurious lifestyle when they cut you off that, you know, you couldn't possibly provide that for them or you was you were, you were never going to have um, the life that you have now or the life that's coming to you. Like this person just didn't see that with you. I honestly feel like it was hidden from this person that you guys were indeed a empress energy. They actually thought this Queen of Wands in reverse was an Empress energy, but this person absolutely know nothing about energetic, uh, energetic ranking. They know nothing about it, okay? So this person definitely thought that they had something on their team. They thought that they could build with this, with this fraud. They thought that they could grow with this person, capitalize with this person, um, start a business, be successful with this person, but the whole time, all of that energy lies within you guys. This person found out very quickly that they took a great loss. This great risk ultimately was a great loss. They didn't get anything that they put into this person. And a lot of you guys were wondering why this person was not feeding into you. Like they wouldn't be there for you, do anything for you. They were feeding their energy into this person. Spirit is telling me that this Empress energy was a divine blessing, okay? This Empress energy was sent into this person's life to guide them, to lead them, guide and lead them, okay? Back to most high. You guys were a divine blessing. So if you're this Empress energy, you were definitely a blessing to this person with the higher fence energy here you could have been also married to this person in the spiritual realm this could have been your kingdom husband or your kingdom wife like your spiritual spouse this person would have they would have um experienced positive justice right their life would not be in turmoil. This person's life would not be in shambles the way that it is if this person would have acted out of integrity. They did not act out of integrity at all. This person cut you off so brutally because they didn't, they didn't think that they were going to need you again. They thought that, that everything they needed um, lied within this fraud energy over here. I just heard the scammer got scammed. So your person, this King of Cups... I'm, I'm picking up that they tried to scam this Empress energy, you know, and when they were done, they kind of disappeared, but they are currently getting scammed or have already gotten scammed by someone else. This Queen of Wands in reverse energy who's using some type of sorcery or just energetic manipulation to keep this person away from you, holding something over this masculine energy's head, holding something over this person's head. I just, the way that this person breadcrumbs you, like this person absolutely intentionally decided not to feed into this connection with this beautiful Empress energy at all. They rejected your offer time and time again. You know, even though you guys were the truth, 
you guys are the truth. They've never experienced or they will never experience or cross paths with anybody like you again. Nobody even close to your energy again. And if they do, they won't be able to pull them because it seems as though this person has failed to go through their transformation. This person, they didn't transform. They're not transforming. They got caught up trap and stuck with a i just heard a false twin for some of you guys they could have thought this person was their twin flame but spirit is telling me they got caught up with a false twin somebody who was not their true their their true their true love and that part is not for everybody because this could just be this is a general so this this is going to resonate with so many of you guys everybody is not dealing with in a um divine divine um uh, I'm not going to say a divine connection. Everybody's not dealing with a twin flame. For some of you guys, this could be a divine connection. Yeah, look at this. I will be back. I will be back for you. So this is some somebody who... I feel like this person has every intention on returning and coming back. They're not sure how you're going to feel about it. Look at this. I will never give up on us. Look, you're unlike anyone I've ever known. Yeah, this person has never experienced this type of energy from anybody in their life. But I feel like it took them going through this betrayal, you know, with this dark witch energy, getting manipulated, getting persuaded, getting seduced energetically out of their fortune. You know, and when I say their fortune, I mean their empress energy energy. If anybody if have an empress energy on their team, that is your fortune. That is your divine blessing. They got manipulated out of their real their real empress. This person's ego is and their pride is their absolutely their downfall. It's because of this person's ego and pride that they will not apologize to you, even though they want to be back in your life. It's kind of like the universe is using this person's um, dark side against them. It's like <laughs> the universe know this person want to be back with you, but the universe also know that this person is prideful. So it's just like, well, if you want to be in this prideful energy and you don't want to apologize, you don't want to come forward and present yourself in the proper way to this empress because that's another thing. This person was stuck up energy like they thought they were better than this empress. So it's like spirit is saying you are going to have to present yourself in the appropriate way. For some of you guys, it's your ancestors. They're saying in order for this person to come back in this empress life, they're going to have to present themselves appropriately. They can't come to you, you know, looking like something that the dog done drug in. You know, giving you guys the bare minimum and the scraps when you guys are the empress, so you deserve the whole world. So it's kind of like this person is like not being permitted around you energetically. They're actually, um, spirit is actually entertained at the thought that this person is, is a victim of their own karma. This person is a victim of their own karma right now. Look, I never felt like this before. They haven't. But it took them actually experiencing the worst, the worst that life had to offer as far as in a partner to realize that they had the best. We belong together. So it's like this person is seeing you as the, as the one that God made for them. Thank you, Spirit. But they don't feel good enough. This person don't feel good enough because you have outgrown this person energetically on so many levels ever since they did this to you. I'm hearing this person don't even know how to address you guys at this point. They don't know what to say to you. They don't know how to move with you next because you're different. You have elevated. You guys are evolved beings at this point. You're, you, have, you have graduated and promoted to empress status, empress energy and the hierophant. So some of you guys are spiritual leaders, spiritual teachers. A lot of people look up to you guys. And this person is watching this. They're watching you grow. They're watching your transformation. This part, this energy that you possess, you have a lot of spiritual knowledge. This person, they feel like they can't hold a conversation with you because they can't keep up. 
Well, that's because they, they fail to do the work. So they stop growing. This person stop attaining knowledge. Spirit stop communicating with this person because why give this person sacred divine information so that they can go and share it with a karmic energy? <sighs> Let me pull, um, let me pull a few more messages before I wrap this reading up. Also, you guys, thank you to everyone who has already subscribed to my podcast channel, Cosmic Cowgirl TV. I posted um, one podcast on there um, a few days ago. I'll be posting another one on there tonight. I'll, I always post um a sample of the of the podcast on this channel and you will always find the link to the full podcast video in the description box okay so make sure you guys check it out make sure you support i'm so excited about this podcast it's something new and i'm just really really i'm really really excited about this and it's already, um, I've already received, received so much positive feedback and everything. And a lot of you guys are excited and you can't wait till the next podcast. So you guys can call in and talk with me. And I'm just as excited for you guys as well. So leap of faith. They did not expect this love to run this deep. They're putting their pride aside and taking a leap of faith. And under the deck, it says game over and betrayal. Wow. Yeah. So listen, you guys, this person is going to take some type of leap of faith. They're going to put their pride to the side and they're going to speak with you. But the problem is you guys are in your warrior's energy. Like this person has triggered some type of warrior energy in you guys. So it's just like, look, both women have a sword in their hand. So it's not going to be easy for this person to get next to you again. Like you are very guarded and you, don't, you have no problem cutting this person off where they stand, okay? It says their betrayal, their fleeting heart will only end up betraying you in the end. Your, your soul deserves better. And it says they fear your wrath. They know you're no longer entertaining their half half-hearted effort yeah you guys feel like this person is ultimately going to only end up betraying you again and this is why you guys are so guarded with this double sword energy but I do see this person making some type of return but I also see you guys not trusting it so look at that yeah you guys are turning the cold shoulder to this person you're giving them it's like you're mirroring the energy that they've always given you it's crazy. It's like now that you guys have been promoted to Empress Hierophant status, spiritual leader, spiritual teacher, divine feminine, divine masculine energy here, you're like, I got my blessing. I'm good. You didn't, you didn't value me. You didn't want me. You know, you didn't feel like I was worth your time before my divine glow up, before, before I received my divine inheritance, right? Before most high crowned me. So now. I'm turning my shoulder. I'm giving you the cold shoulder. You feel like this person is undeserving. So, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading just as much as I enjoyed giving it to you guys. Also, I will be posting on my Leo channel tonight, Leo Heart Tarot. So if any of you guys are a Leo, you have Leo in your chart or you're cross watching for a Leo, that is definitely the channel for you. I will put the link to all of my channels in the description box. Love and light. Peace. Oh, hold on, you guys. I also restock my easy tarot cards. They teach the meaning of tarot in the upright and in the reverse. That will be in the description box on my Etsy shop. Peace.